This video has been highly requested and I'm really excited to dive in what's in my work bag. And my work bag is the Tory Robinson, oh my gosh, I keep calling it the Tory Robinson, the Tory Burch Robinson tote. I'm gonna show you what I put in it, what fits in it, and the best ways to organize it and your work bag in general so that your bag is always clean, which helps you have a clear mind and which helps you be more productive and it just helps you with all kinds of good things. So we are going to dive in, but if we haven't met yet, I'm Jules. I help you comb through the endless options for shopping and style by researching the best pieces and breaking down the most wearable trends and only breaking the bank when it's absolutely necessary. So make sure to subscribe, click the bell, join the Bell Babe Squad. And without further ado, let's get started on having your best wardrobe and work bag ever. So probably the most common work bag struggle I see is fitting the technology. So whether that's your laptop or your tablet, whatever you use. And for me, I need my laptop, but I actually also use it while I film. So I'm gonna have to cut to some B-roll to show you some of these things. I would choose a work bag that has a lot of structure. Now this work bag here is really structured. It is standing up completely on its own. It never falls over. So you don't have to worry about your laptop putting it in and your bag flopping over or just kind of like falling around your laptop. So you wanna make sure your work bag is really structured and has a compartment specifically for your laptop. I recommend not using a laptop case and I used one for years and I finally came to the realization that I liked everything better when there was just one compartment. If you have a good laptop compartment in your work bag, then you are set. You don't need an extra case around it and it just adds bulk, it's not necessary. And so in that spot just goes my laptop, it zips and so it keeps it extra secure. It's kind of like a case within your bag. This way it's really easy to get your laptop in and out, you can get what you need and put it back and it's never gonna be in the wrong place. All right, now we can bring the bag over. My next tip is to have a place for your wallet. And what I love about this bag is it specifically has a little flap, a little thing right here that you can snap close. And that's always where my wallet is. There's been a couple times where I don't put my wallet back in the right spot and I panic because it's always there. So just always have one spot where you put your wallet. So I really recommend a small compact wallet over the larger ones. I think this gives you everything you need. I have a spot for my cash, receipts, lots of cards and it clips into one nice little thing. And again, when something's within easy reach and really easy to put away, it's always gonna be right where you need it. So if this is where my wallet is, then right between that and my laptop compartment is my makeup bag. I have had so many of you comment on where I got this makeup bag. So this bag actually came from a Charming Charlie bag I got as a gift and it actually clipped into the bag as a kind of compartment. I love how squishy it is so I can really you know, cram it into my smaller bags when I transfer it from my work bag to like a weekend bag. So in here, I keep everything that could be loose in my bag. My keys are in here, my makeup is in here, my medication, anything like Advil is in here, um, tampons are in here. I'm just realizing some of the paint is flaking off of this bag, which makes me really sad because I really love this little bag. It's really great. If any of you know of any great other ones, please link them below. Uh, I would be interested because this bag is so awesome. All right, as we continue to move back within the bag, again, here's the wallet. Here's where my makeup bag goes. Here's the laptop case. And then behind it is like the last large compartment. And so in this compartment, because this is the side that's actually next to you when you carry it, you want it to remain flat. So you want your makeup bag to be towards the front in case there's anything like lumpy or uncomfortable, then it's not awkwardly digging into your sides. So in the back is where I keep my planner. I have tried a few different planners over the years, but I want to talk for a quick second about this one. This is not sponsored. So this is the day designer. It is a bit of a bigger planner. So if you don't like big planners, this might not be the one for you. But if you are very busy, then this might be the planner for you. So I'm just gonna open up to July just so that you can start to get an idea of what it looks like. So when you open July, you see the month, you can see I already have some stickers that I've used marking payday, very important. But then when you turn the page, every day gets its own page. And that's what I love most about this planner. It is really a day designer, not a week, not a month. And so up here you get your top three. You can write what's due, what you're having for dinner or planning for dinner. On this side, you have the, the time. So five o'clock, six o'clock, all the way up to nine o'clock. So you can write in what exactly you're doing and when. You have a to-do list on this side. You have notes at the bottom and a daily gratitude. So whatever you're thankful for that day, you can write it here. It comes with a little bookmark for today so you can always flip to your day. For the weekends, it's not quite as in depth, but for the weekday when you're working and you're trying to be really intentional with your time, 
time and making the most of things, this is really awesome. And so I'll link this down below so you can check it out if this sounds like it fits you. Everything you need is right here. You can really have an intentional day. Anyway, okay, moving on. So I forgot to mention one tip because I don't ever use these. Next to my wallet compartment are these flat compartments and a lot of bags and purses actually have these and I hate them. I really recommend not using these completely flat bags. The only thing I can think that they're actually useful for is like a business card. But I'm gonna get to that one in a minute because I don't even think it's useful for that. They're really useless. There's really not much you can fit in there anyway and it really stretches out that fabric and then leaves it looking yucky and yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. And so what I love about the Tory Burch Robinson bag is that these pockets right here. Oh my gosh, what is in these pockets? Make sure there's nothing like crazy. No. There's, there's not because I keep my bag really clean. I love these pockets on this bag because they are like these flat ones, but there actually is space. Look, the pocket was created by someone who actually understands that those pockets are pretty useless. So you can actually fit a lot of stuff in here. You're not stretching out the bag. I keep the things that I reach for a lot. I actually keep like chapstick in here, but I don't know where that is because I'm always losing chapstick. But I do keep like my SD card reader and my headphone thing. I do keep a pen in there. Yes, you're gonna be like, that's terrible. I have to be realistic. I am always needing a pen. And then I do keep a business card holder, which is why I don't think those other pockets are really all that great for business cards. Cause I like having a business card holder. This one is from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It comes in a ton of colors. It's just so nice to have it really within easy reach. If you are networking or if you are having a conversation with someone and you're suddenly like, oh, let me give you my card. If you have to stumble around through your purse or get out your wallet. I just don't think that always leaves the best impression, but that's why I love a business card holder and having it in such an easy spot. You know, have your bag, you're walking around, oh, you want my business card. You take out the holder, you take out a card and you can give it to them and quickly put it back and continue your conversation. You want your business cards to be within reach, but not like taking over your bag. And you know, out of curiosity, I just checked my lip stuff was in my makeup bag which kind of makes sense. I usually just keep it right there within reach so I can put it on a lot because I put this on a lot. I think another important thing to note is that I don't use every single compartment of my work bag. They are there to be empty, to be filled if I ever need them. But I don't think you ever want your work bag to be completely full all the time because that can feel like just too much stuff. And so I actually really only use like this pocket here if I have like special papers. And then the same for this pocket back here. I actually don't use that much for it in case there's like something like really secure that or really valuable or secure. I cannot lose this. So I need to like put it in a really safe spot. That's like one of my safe spots. But it's really important to pick the right bag. It all comes down to having the right bag. I love this one. I really do. It is an investment, but it was one that took me a few years to come to. I did a lot of research. I'll link the video I did when I unboxed it, but I did promise to do a follow-up. So this is actually a highly requested video. And so if you have a video you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments below. I do know of a lot of other great work bags that I just didn't choose for myself. And so if you'd like me to do a video on that, you can let me know in the comments. So make sure to like this video if you did. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.